in the comments below. Moving on, this again is relatively kind of related to Spider-Man. I would say there's lots of Spider-Man news today. It seems to be Spider Spider-Man Day today. It's been rumored that uh, Sony Pictures and Marvel are discussing a Deadpool and Venom crossover. So this is exciting because <laughs> I I'm going to say this, you know, full disclosure. I'm a big fan of Venom. Uh, I'm also a big fan of Deadpool, but I'm a, I'm especially a big fan of Venom. And I know I watched the film, and I know it's not a great movie but I had so much fun with it and I know a lot of people that felt the same way it's one of those films that's like it's just so stupid it's kind of good and uh, I watched it in the cinema and had a fantastic time I will say I haven't watched it again since I should probably give it a second viewing because if I give it a second viewing then my love of Deadpool might uh, sorry Venom might fade but uh, according to rumors out there and these do come from we got this covered that's another you know, just bear that in mind. Um, but according to them, Venom and Deadpool could be in a crossover movie. And if you're thinking about it like that, you're thinking, well, Marvel obviously has a bit of a problem with Deadpool because they don't make R-rated movies. Marvel just does, doesn't do that. Disney don't really do that. And it's actually a problem because this Deadpool franchise that they now own after, having, after Disney having acquired Fox is actually incredibly lucrative and really, really popular. And there's good reason for it. It's because the two movies were really fun. They were really good fun. They were R-rated. There's something different in the comic book universe that we don't see all that often now. But it does look like Marvel is... I mean, they're going to have to somehow make these movies. One of the ideas that's being thrown about out there is that Sony Pictures actually makes the R-rated movies for them. Or the other idea is that Disney uh, makes kind of a sub brand let's call it and that is a bit like touchstone pictures where that they, they were that was kind of the studio that made the more grown-up movies the r-rated disney movies if there is such a thing but the idea of, of marvel and sony working together on a deadpool and venom crossover movie first off the characters would really i think they'd really work in a movie together i think it's a really good idea to put to just imagine having ryan reynolds and Tom Hardy in in one movie is a f really fun idea to me, playing those characters that they are kind of, I, I genuinely think Ryan Reynolds is born to play Deadpool. I think I have my issues with Ryan Reynolds in certain movies. I do think he tends to do the same, he, he does the same thing in a lot of his films. You, you, the thing is I do like his shtick. I think he's good fun in everything he's in. I'm really excited to see Free Guy, but it come, there comes a point where it's a bit much, I think with him. Um, but he's perfect for Deadpool. He's We all know now that he's born to play that role, that without him, those Deadpool movies would not be anywhere near as good as they are. And there's no one else in Hollywood who could play that role better than he can. And he does. So there. Tom Hardy, on the other hand, he's slightly different because I think he's fantastic as Eddie Brock. I really do like him in that role. But there are so many other roles in the Marvel Cinematic Universe that he could play. And a lot of people tend to talk about Wolverine. I think he'd be a brilliant Wolverine. He's been up, supposedly up for the role of James Bond, but that's debatable whether that's actually the case or not. But I do like him as Eddie Brock. And I do, I think there's that kind of, um, he's all, there is that kind of quirky element to him as well, especially he has a very similar character trait, um, the, the Venom in the comic books and Venom in the movies in the movie, has a very similar character trait to Deadpool in the sense that they kind of have split personalities. You've got Eddie Brock and Venom, and then you've got Ryan, um, well, yeah, Ryan Reynolds, but you've got Deadpool and Wade Wilson, and they're kind of fight. There are lots of no, uh, voices in their heads in the comic book, in, in the comic book, uh, comic books, and they definitely played on that in the Venom film. Not so much in the Deadpool movies, but there is that element to the character, and. They, they, they kind of have lots of similarities and I think it'd be really interesting to put them against up against each other and um, it would open up the kind of Marvel Cinematic Universe to a more R-rated, I, I don't like that word, but you know, more kind of um, it's just to explore different themes that they probably wouldn't be able to explore in the main MCU movies. 
which is why I really, really like this idea. Um, I also like the idea of Marvel and Sony just working closer together um, because the, the Spider-Man movies they've been making have been really good. And um, Sony are actually, you know, like it or not, Sony are actually quite pretty decent at, um, at, at marketing these films because with the Spider-Man movies, it's Sony that markets them, that, that does all the marketing, not, not, not Marvel. That's one of the um, agreements they made. And they are, they've been marketing, marketing them really well. And it would, it would solve Sony, uh, Marvel's kind of Deadpool problem. It would solve their R-rated movies problem. Let's wait and see if this happens. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this is a good idea? Would you like this sort of thing to happen? Would you like to see Venom and Deadpool in a movie together? Let me know in the comments below.